So of course the, the, the bottlenecks or the integration points, they will be very specific to, to, to different companies. And it's important for, uh, to realize where you will have these gains and then start to implement integration uh, as you go along. And then on the basis on this, maybe do reporting and trending and, and, and all in all, get a more and more well-driven uh, company. So I'm going to give you just a few, uh, few thoughts uh, of, of integration points as I see it. For instance, uh, in your production, um, you'll kick off deviations now and then. And as it's handled today, your um, ERP system is good at handling the batch number, the, the raw materials, the supplier and, and, and stuff like that. All of this lives in your ERP system, but handling the actual deviation that lives outside the ERP system. And as soon as you kick off this deviation, you're not going to know when it returns. So it's just out of your hands. And this is one of the, the, the integration points that I see as being very important. So having on, on one side your ERP system, on, on, on the other side your EQMS system will ensure that whenever a, a deviation is kicked off, it's going to it's gonna live in your electronic system, but you will surface all the information from your EQMS system and into the ERP, ERP system. So uh, bottom line, each company, they will have to sit down and see, say, when do we not know what's going on anymore? We have it in hand in another electronic system, but we need the integration. Um, so it's just a matter of, of getting onto it and taking one integration point at a time.